Um, hello friends, welcome once again to Asian North Online Maths. In this video, I'm going to review to you a very wonderful trick that will help you to get uh, some Pythagorean triple with ease. Do not forget that this video is probably powered by your lesson app. Alright, so now, um, we all know Pythagorean triple as something like 3, 4, 5. Remember, Pythagorean theory helps us to uh, helps us to get the uh, missing length of a right angle triangle when you know two of the sides. So this two, this uh, group of numbers is a Pythagorean triple in the sense that if I square the first one, three squared is nine plus four squared is sixteen. If you add nine and sixteen, it will give you twenty-five because five squared is the same thing as twenty-five. If this thing works in a given group of numbers like this that are three in number, you know that they are Pythagorean tribe. So assuming in, a, in an exam you are asked, you are asked to get any Pythagorean tribe you like, uh, you know it's not something that you can easily get. But look at a trick of getting it. Supposing I want to get a Pythagorean tribe that will have, let's say, um, seven. I want seven to be there. What I will just do is that I have to square seven just get, get any number you like, any odd number. Get any odd number you like. Now I'm getting 7. If you square 7, that will give you 49. All right? Divide 49 by 2. If you divide 49 by 2, it will give you 24.5. You will understand that 24.5 is lying between 24 and 25. Therefore, Pythagorean triple that we can get from this 7 will be 7, 24, 25. You can verify it. You will see that this is a Pythagorean triple because if you square 7, it will give you 49. 24 squared, let's see. 24 squared means 24 multiplied by 24. 4 times 4 is 16. You write 6 carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. When you add, you have 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. Add 1 to this 4 is 5. So this one is 576. And of course, you know that 49 plus 576 will give us 625. And the 25 squared is something as 625. Now, supposing I want to get another Pythagorean triple. This is how to do it. So maybe I want to use, uh, let's say, 3. I will just come and square 3. 3 squared is the same thing as 9. Now, divide this 9 by 2. When you divide 9 by 2, you are getting 4.5. And 4.5 lies between 4 and 5. Therefore, the Pythagorean triple you will get from it will be 3, 4, and that, 5. 4 and 5. You can use even numbers. Let's say I want to get a Pythagorean triple that I want to consider even number, let's say 6. What you have to do is to um, square this 6, divide this 6 by 2, first of all, if you are using even number, not odd number. Divide by 2, you are getting 3. So 6 divided by 2 will give us 3. Alright? Now, square the 3. 3 squared is the same thing as 9. But this 9 is lying between, uh, uh, let's say, 8 and 10. 9 lies between 8 and 10. Hence, if you pick 6, the next two numbers will be 8 and 10. That will make it Pythagorean triple. With this trick, anytime you need any Pythagorean triple, get any number you like, be it odd number or even number, you will get so many Pythagorean triple with ease. Do not forget that this video is probably powered by your lesson app. Catch me on their TikTok page at your lesson app. Go to Play Store, download and subscribe to their app so that you can enjoy my mass videos. Thank you for viewing and may God bless you. Bye-bye.